rules. $1,500, $2,000. $1,000,000 once. $14,000 is. $1,000,000. My name is Katya Tilton and I'm the assistant department head here at James D. Julia's for the Fine Arts, Asian and Antiques Division. I've been working here since 1997 and over all those years I've seen some truly amazing pieces come through and sell for outstanding prices. So I want to take the moment and thank you for visiting our site and show you some of the new and exciting items that are coming up. White Mountain Art is considered not a school, but a body of work by over 400 artists who painted in and around the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Thomas Cole, Alvin Fisher, and Thomas Doughty were some of the earliest artists drawn to this area. They saw and liked the untamed wilderness that the region portrayed. Later, in the 19th century, came a cadre of Boston artists such as Benjamin Champney, Alfred Ordway, Samuel Griggs, and Samuel Gary, who carried the region's scenic wonders to an eager Boston clientele. It wasn't until the railroad came to the area that tourism flourished and people wanted visions of their adventures on their walls. Benjamin Champney was one of the best known and prolific artists of the area. He resided in North Conway, New Hampshire, at the heart of the White Mountains, where he was instrumental in making his town a go-to destination for artists traveling to the region. Another well-known white, white Mountain artist was Edward Hill, who was born in England and came to America as a child in 1844. His brother, Thomas Hill, was a more well-known artist, but his studio was in California. In his early career, Edward worked as a furniture painter in the Haywood Brothers and Company in Gardner, Mass. After leaving Gardner, he was the artist in residence at the Profile House in Franconia Notch, New Hampshire for 15 years beginning in the 1870s. James D. Julia is pleased to have in their upcoming February auction an outstanding work showing Mount Lafayette, the Profile House, Echo Lake, and Franconia Notch by Edward Hill.